Now let me go back to the Finder and show you what a DVD looks like. Right now I've got a DVD mounted. Let me just open up a Finder window. And this is the DVD. In this case, it was burnt with iMovie. When I open the DVD, or when I explore the DVD, if you want to think about it in Windows terms, you see there's three folders in here. Two of them with very specific names. Video TS and Audio TS. These two folders are the ones that a set-top box reads. So these two folders make this DVD a DVD video. On the other hand, there's a third folder over here that if I explore it, it contains another folder with slideshows, photos, it just gets deep into navigation. And then there's a bunch of images over here. Oh, that's a really large image. Let me just trim it down so you can see it better. And what it is, it's a really high resolution image that was taken with my still camera. So these are the photos in the slideshow. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this here is because as you can see, these are JPEG documents, which means that these are computer files. Technically, this disk, because it contains DVD video files, as well as DVD ROM files, it's called a DVD hybrid, which means that if you put it on a set-top box, you'll get the stuff that it's in this folder, which is all of the movies and menus that you get to see on your TV, and then all of these other files, which are only readable on your computer. Now let's focus on the DVD video part of things. And this is where iDVD really shines. Let me launch the player to show you what this project looked like. When I launch the player, the first thing that it does is it loads the main menu. In this case, the main menu has a slideshow. It's got background music. And it's got three buttons. I'm using the mouse to control the buttons. If I select to play the movie, it plays a movie that was edited in iMovie. Let me just go back to the main menu. If I go to the scene selection area, it opens up another menu where you can go to a specific scene in that movie. Just go back. And then there's a slideshow here. And as you can see, each element has music too. So this live is made out of the photos that you saw on the folder there. Let me go back to the main menu. So all of this stuff that we're seeing here is what it's called a DVD video. And again, this is where iDVD really shines. One thing that I should mention though is that iDVD is not a video editor. All the video editing that you do has to be done outside. So for example, this particular movie that has a bunch of scenes and music and whatnot was edited in iMovie and then brought in here. The only editing that you do here is the creation of the menus, maybe adding the sound to the menus, and when you're creating the photo slideshows or the slideshows, you're controlling the order of those slides. Apart from that, you're not doing that much content editing. 